Good day, students. I want to take this opportunity to commend you for a two years well spent on behalf of the College Council of the TM Arisho Community College and the senior management team. All of you have worked very hard. In fact, it's because of your hard work you are now in this position. You will be receiving your associate degree in your respective programs and some of you would be receiving certificates and for that I want to say again congratulations you ought to be proud you have done extremely well and um, I want to take this opportunity to provide you with some additional information as you know we cannot have a physical graduation ceremony as we would have had in the past years and so this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic we are going to have a virtual graduation. Now as was mentioned to you before the graduation would be held um, on October 29th via Zoom. I want to um, further let you know that the graduation list will be available on Wednesday. Now, I say on Wednesday, but it's not for all the programs. We are still updating your academic record, and so the graduation list for some of the programs would be available on Wednesday. I want you to check your email because I will be posting that list and sending it to your email on Wednesday. Now, for some of you who are going to be here on Wednesday, you can check the notice boards. I'm gonna put it on our notice boards as well. But the main way of communicating with you is through your emails. So if you are listening, I want you to inform your friends. If you know they are going to be graduating, let them know to check their emails to see if their names are on the list. Don't panic if your name is not on the list. As I said to you before, we are still updating. We have some people ready. We letting them know that we have already finished with them. So we letting them know that they can check their emails and the list would be there. And that would be our first list. There would be about two or three lists coming out after we settle everything. Some of you, you're still doing resets or you've recently done reset and makeup. We have to correct these exams and update your academic report. Some of you, we have a, a late reset makeup on Thursday and for a few of you on Friday. So we need to process that as well. Hence the reason why we cannot have the list ready at the same time for everyone. Now, the graduation fee. Now the graduation fee would be $290. Um, if you are not interested in the virtual graduation, the graduation fee for absentia is $250. Now we have reduced the graduation fee from $395 to $290. We still have a lot of costing for the graduation things that we have to purchase as a college, your, your regalia. And speaking of regalia, you are going to be um, using regalia for the ceremony because most of our, our um, events for this ceremony will be um, taped, recorded, pre-recorded. So your pictures and so will be done before. And that is not something new, by the way. We've done that before. Um, I want to go back and probably I'm, I might come uh, speak of it briefly but my colleague would also share a bit on it and we would repeat from time to time but that's okay because it would reinforce what we, we want to share with you. Um, walkers for graduation. A couple of years ago we have decided to allow people to walk for graduation. Now, if you're walking for graduation, it means you have not yet met the requirement to be awarded your associate degree. And so you can take part in the ceremony. You would do everything like somebody who is graduating and would have met the requirement. It's just that you would not be given the certificate. 
you will be required, you pay all your fees, but you would be required to come back in um, September and re re um, register for the deficient courses. Now, if you have more than two courses, which is more than six credits, you would not be eligible to walk. If you have six credits or less, you will be eligible to walk. Now, to walk, it's not compulsory. So it's something that we offer in you. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. So if you have six credits remaining to complete the award for the associate degree, then you can walk. So you pay your fees, you get your gong regalia, do everything. Your name will be in the book as if you met the requirement, but you and I know that you didn't, so you will have to come back. All right, so I want you to understand that because we have a lot of um, students asking about the walking so that you have a clear understanding that that's how we proceed with that. Um, as I said to you before, absentia has always been $250. And when we look at what it, it entails to um, graduate over seven or 800 students, we came up with a graduation fee, absentia of 250. And as I said before, the graduation fee of 290. Now, Cash will re be received. How do you pay? As soon as you see the graduation list, you can go and make payment, and that payment would be at um, Teacher Education, uh, the Center of Excellence, Room 2. Teacher Education, Center of Excellence, Room 2. So you don't have to wait. Once you see your name on the list, you go and make your payment and you hold on to your receipt because you will need it later. And uh, my colleague will let you know why and how you need to use that receipt. So you must make your payment before you are, you are issued your certificate. You would not get it if you did not pay, whether you graduate in absentia or whether you pay your graduation fee. And then we also have a policy on, on, on on, on refund, so we would let you know about that when my colleagues speak. Now, payment and gong collection schedule, we have that for you. And Mondays, um, on Monday, September 21st from 9 to 3, um, we group you by names from A to C. You can uh, collect your gong. Um, then we have on Tuesday, 22nd, D to G, Wednesdays, 9 to 3, H to L, Thursdays, 9 to 3, M to O, and Fridays, 9 to 3. All right? Kariku Campus, the payment for graduation and gong collection, um, you would make that at the campus, and that would take place on Thursday and on Friday, on the 9th and 10th of October. However, if your name is on the list and you have the money, you can just go ahead and make your payment, hold on to your receipt. Photographs. We have done this time and time again. You take your photographs before and we compile you with a package and that is inclusive of the graduation fee. That would be done at the college. So you take a picture receiving your diploma cover and you take a professional picture and we give you the copy of the, the photograph. We, we used to print it before, but because of the COVID and how cumbersome it is to collect, you would get the soft copy. So you can send it to your family, you can reprint it over and over, you could send it away and get it printed, all of that good stuff. And that is inclusive of your graduation fee as yet. So don't forget, the schedule, will, we would also send this to you via email. So keep watching and looking out for this information. Dress, we ask you to dress appropriately and um, make sure that to take your picture, you have something white underneath. You would be, well, you would have your gong, of course, and then your hair. Make sure that you 
your hair is done a certain way so that the cap would not just be floating but it would be able to fit comfortably on your head all right don't forget that as well um, you would be doing for the photo you'd be doing a full length um, photo so you make sure that you you dress the or whatever um, pants or skirt or so that you wear your shoes and so your face is, is made up and all of that make sure that all of that is intact because you want to look your best in your photograph so um, again I say to you you will send the graduation handbook read that it's a lot of the information and mostly everything I've, I've said here you can read that in your handbook but in addition to your handbook we want to give you the additional information so that you can view it over and over if you don't want to read um, I want to take the opportunity to thank you so very much for listening and I congratulate you again you have done very well one of the things however this is even not um, uh, uh, planned one of the things I want to share with you is that if you are interested in furthering your education you want to go on to university and you don't know what to do you have not made plans please see me contact me I'm upstairs in the administrative building I know of universities that are constantly asking about our students they love Caribbean students they are very intelligent they do extremely well I can take you to the next level I want you to remember that if you have not made plans and you want to get to do your bachelor's degree please contact me I would set you up with the application I would tell you about how to get your I-20 and your F-1 visa all those things I would give you that information so don't think that when you finish you home you want to do something you want to move on you don't want to work work is scarce now COVID-19 has upended or lots of things you want to move on please contact me now I didn't speak of this but I want to quickly share students who are graduating with honors I will contact you if you are graduating with honors but you are the best student in your program let me give you an example if you are graduating with natural sciences and you have uh, 10 students graduating with honors but student A has the highest GPA so if 10 of you graduating and all of you graduating with honors but student A has the highest GPA that student will receive an award the rest of you would be graduating as an honor student and you would get a special graduation regalia for that but the honor student would be given the award which means I would contact you so that we can arrange for you to take another photograph with the sponsor who is sponsoring the award okay get that if you are graduating best in your program if you did not hear from me it's because you did not get the highest GPA in your program so if you have a 3.5 and someone has a 4.0 or a 3.98 I would be calling the highest GPA not the person even though they have a good GPA and an honor student I would not call you because you're not the highest in your program <coughs> So I want you to understand that. So for each program, we would have one person receiving the award and I will contact you. Now, if you want to walk, I would send an email letting you know when to come in so that we can make arrangements for you to get to do all the paperwork to so that we can formally put the walk into, into, into gear. So be reminded of that. So you don't write me and ask me again. I will let you know for the walkers. Thank you very much. I hope that everything worked out best for you. Congratulations and all the best in your endeavor. I would like to join Mrs. Neptune by congratulating you, the 2020 graduates. 
this year has been a challenging one, but you have persevered and you've made it and now you're awaiting um, a formal graduation to say that you're a graduate of the TA Marshall Community College, right? So there's some things that I would like to share with you. So first, let's talk about the team. This year's theme for this year's graduation is turning crisis into opportunity, preparing graduates to compete in a transformed world. And this year's speaker is Dr. Didicus Jules, right? So we're gonna now talk about procedures for collecting your graduation gown. As you know, the payment for graduation will be received at the Center of Excellence, room two, at the Teacher Education Department. After payment, you are to come to room nine, also located in the Teacher Education Department with your receipt. Um, <coughs> Gongs will be pre-packaged for you and here I would like to talk to you about the graduation participation form. This is available on our website www.tamcc.edu.gd. You go to the online forms tab and then you will click on graduation participation form. You fill it out electronically. The deadline for submission is the 18th of September. That's this Friday. Right, you fill it out, it will come to us and then we will pre-package a gong for you. So the distribution will take place at room nine. The package will consist of your regalia, a tassel, a hat, and also if you are graduating with honors, you will have your yellow honor stool. So that will be in the package. The following week, so that's from the 21st to the 25th of September, that will be the distribution payment for graduation fee and um, distribution of your graduation gown. In regards to your absentia fee, absentia fee is $250. You pay during the same week as you pay the graduation fee. Um, students who are paying the absentia fee, you will return on the 9th to the 19th of November according to the schedule to receive your certificate. The following week, the 28th to the 9th of October for the next two weeks, we will be starting your graduation photo shoot. Um, that will be done according to your program. The schedule will be posted on our Facebook page and of course also on our website so that you can also review when you have to come in. Um, and as Ms. Neptune would have stated, you have to dress appropriately, make sure that you dress well because you have to do a portrait and a, a full shot. Um, so after the graduation photography, um, after you take your, full, your, your, your photo, your gong is to be returned to room nine. So directly after you take your photos, you are to return the gong to room nine. The hat and the tassel belongs to you at the end. Um, during that period, during the photography period, your diploma cover will be issued to you as well. And you are to return with that diploma cover when we distribute our certificate from the 9th to the 19th of November. And that again will be by programs. And again, the schedule will be shared with you um, via our Facebook page as well as our website. So we're asking you to um, just look through the schedule. This period, COVID-19 protocols, all of our activities and events will be um, in accordance with the COVID-19 protocol, right? So we will have hand sanitizers available. We will also have um, also ensure that we have our six feet distancing or three feet as it is now um, being stated, right? Um, for the Caraco campus, for the certificates for students for the Caraco campus, certificates will reach the Caraco campus by the 13th of November, right? Persons who've attended the Tantin campus but are from Caraco and would like to collect their certificates at the Caraco campus are asked to notify the admissions office by the no, by November the sixth, the sixth of November, um, to indicate that we, they will be collecting their their certificates at the Caraco campus, and therefore we'll have to prepackage it and send it up to the campus for collections. To ensure that you send us the notification via email at admissions at tamcc.edu.gd. And with that, I would like to say thank you and congratulations once more. And we do look forward to a successful graduation ceremony this year.
First of all, let me join my colleagues in congratulating you for meeting the requirements to graduate in 2020. You, you have meet the requirements to be part of the graduating class of 2020. So on that, congratulations. The graduation will be a virtual one, and the platform that will be used is called Zoom. So we will be using the Zoom platform to broadcast the live recorded event. The link will be available to you certainly more than two weeks before the event, before the virtual event that will be held on October 29th. And in order to receive the link, you need to ensure that your email address is activated and you have access to the contents of your email. So if you still having challenges with your email address, ensure to contact IT support or someone that would give you that will be able to help you in accessing your email. You will get an email with a link that would allow you to register for the virtual event. Once you get that link, you register for the event, but I want to ensure that everyone is aware that once you register using your time to see email, only that email will be used to view the virtual event via Zoom. However, that link is available to everyone. For instance, once you, each student would have at least one link to be able to access the graduation but everyone who is logging on would be in the same virtual space. Okay, so if I get the link, then I will be able to only log on to the event once. All right, I cannot share that link with others. But all who receive the link would be able to log on in that same virtual space where you can have that virtual experience and participate and communicate in, in a limited sense, so at least we have some level of communication as is when you have a live event. And those of you who had that experience with the, who had that Caribbean experience um, graduating from secondary school will understand, understand what I mean. Okay, you're in, a, you're in a live event, right? You have to conduct yourself in the same way as if you're in the virtual event, all right? Or vice versa, once you're in the virtual event, it's the same principle. Right, you try to maintain that professional conduct that will ensure that everyone has the best experience. So with that being said, we want to, I want to congratulate you again. I want to, and I want to uh, encourage you to, to, if you have any issues, um, contact IT support. If you have any issues with accessing your email, contact IT, so, IT support and somebody will be assigned to assist you so at least you can ensure that you have all the necessary information before the event starts. Okay, thank you very much.